Hey beauties. Um, yes, your girl is late, but that is okay. Because today we are talking about relationship, relationship talk. Why men feel they cannot trust women? Hmm. <laughs> I just like making that face because it really, you know, let me get myself together. Let me, you know, get my so together, there we go, so I can be beautiful for you guys. But um, I just want to have a genuine conversation with you guys and discuss the topic of why men feel they can't trust us. I told you guys um, a couple of months in June, I had posted a video, three tips to single mothers who want to get married. And off of that, my phone just started ringing. Like I usually, I haven't really started getting a lot of comments on my videos. But this particular one must have hit a core. It hit a chord with these men because they were angry at me for suggesting that women with children might want to get married someday. Not the fact that I talked about single women, you know, but married women. You know, I, I thought I was trying to do a good job trying to encourage women who might want to get married one day. And, you know, my little tips, just, you know, telling them to stay encouraged, to pray, to make sure that, you know, that they put God first, that they make sure that whoever they bring into their lives, that their children, that they're, they remember to stay a parent and two, they transition into marriage. And, you know, I guess I didn't articulate very well in my little three minute video with my three tips, but it was not my, you know, opinion to just think that once you get married to a woman with children, that she's going to put her kids first. And I understand that some relationships do happen like that, but let's not talk about that. I just want to share with you guys like one or two comments. So let me get my computer right here so we can get this thing started, get this party started. Okay, so I had got, you know, I had got a comment from a man and he was like, I noticed you said nothing about the woman being accommodated to the man. Now it's all about him to prove himself and his worth to the woman. And, you know, that's just one comment because I want to really get you guys to the point of why, you know, the whole point of why I came to the, the, the decision that men just don't trust women because these comments, you know, women, we place our trust all the time in men. We place our trust in men that don't deserve our trust. We trust, we place our trust in the wrong characters sometimes and it can bite us in the behind, but we still are willing to give love another chance because we're still willing to go out there and, you know, try again. And be optimistic that there is somebody out there for us. So even though we may have trust issues, we're still willing to try again. And I notice with men, you know, as soon as you, their trust is betrayed, baby, you can cheat on them. Ain't no coming back from that unless they're a man that just doesn't know his worth either. And he just is going to do anything and his will to keep you. But majority of the men that most women want, if you cheat on them, you cheated on their pride, you cheated on them and what they got going on, they package, they take it all offensive. And they could have cheated on you 20 times, but trade your t trust 20 times. But because you was willing to be optimistic because of, oh, we got kids. Oh, we got history. Oh, I didn't put in time. You continue to stay and you continue with the little bit of trust that you have to continue to be in that relationship and trust a little bit that they won't cheat on you. But as soon as you cheat on a man, oh, the trust is gone. We're done. It's over. Ain't no more conversations. Da, 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 da. You know what I get. I mean, I had a conversation with my husband and before we got married, we got on a topic of discuss, discussing cheating because I, I wanted to see where, you know, I just wanted to see if he's been cheated on before. Was he the cheater? 
what was the circumstance because then it will let me know going forward how our relationship would be so if i need to you know get some red flags and be like -uh -uh, he ain't the one i could be out so he was like yeah if a um if a woman cheat on me it's over <laughs> what no no second chance no let me look at myself and see what caused her to cheat let me see how i may have betrayed her trust and why she felt like she couldn't communicate with me make sure y'all remember the word communicate because we're gonna talk about that but no he was like straight nah she cheated on me you know this good thing right here ah oh, nah it's over Chris didn't say all of that because, you know, I'm kind of ghetto. So, I have to be all L.A. and shit with it. But, no, he was like, yeah, she cheated on me. It's done. I was like, done? Like, no, all, like, I was recounting in my mind, like, I done been with a couple of cheaters who cheated on me. And I gave them a second chance. And, you know, for whatever the reason, you know, I just believed in second chances. And men just don't. And I was reading this article. It was in the Huffington Post. And the gentleman said, the reason why men don't treat, don't trust, sorry, don't trust women was because he said, we can trust, we besides their mothers, besides their teachers and public figures, basically women they date, they don't trust. But the reason why he said they don't trust them is because trust is an action. So that's not what he said, but he was saying that trust is an action. And women, it's like, I, I want you to hear me and not only hear me or listen to me, I want you to hear me and I want you to react to what I'm telling you. So I'm trusting the action that you're doing. Men, they don't react to the action, they react to our feelings. So then I started thinking, like, our feelings. In an article, he was like, yeah, you know, women, they can be crazy sometimes. And then I was like, that's true. We can be characters because, you know, I'm a moody person. And I'm grateful that God blessed me with my husband because he knows how to, he understands me. I'm putting my computer down, people. I don't want to, I don't feel led to go that way anymore. But he said that men don't trust women because they don't trust their feelings. And I was like, hmm, it's kind of true. Because if a man come in the house and you know, you, you, yo, like this, and he come in and he's like, what's going on? Nothing. And okay. He walks in and you know there's something and you're hoping that he's going to figure it out because you're hoping that he will read your mind. And he and you're just like, so um, you're not going to ask me what's wrong? Well, I asked you when I first walked in the door and you told me nothing. So I assume nothing. So I'm going to go sit down. So if we're already coming out like that, you know nothing ready to pop off because he didn't figure out what it was because we didn't communicate what it was then how can he trust you when you telling him already a lie nothing so scrap one he can't trust your words because you can't communicate how you feel about your feelings and be adult enough to be like you know what i really didn't like how when i was talking to you on the phone your homeboy called and you told me you was going to call him back. But instead, you kept me on hold for like 10 minutes. And I was waiting for you to click back over and you never did. How was he supposed to know that you was waiting? People, some people can't multitask. So maybe your man can't multitask. So you should know that about your man. And if you don't know that about your man, then you need to continue to be in the learning process so that your relationship will continue to be healthy. So he can't trust what you're saying because he can't trust your feelings because you don't even know how to communicate with your own feelings. And I think that is, you know, a valid reason for men not to trust some women who
who don't know how to communicate how they're feeling. So how do we communicate better? How do we express how we're feeling and still get the point across that I'm angry, I'm happy, I didn't like that present that you bought me, it looks like crap, but thanks for the thought anyways, without hurting their feelings because let's face it, sometimes men as macho as they come off, they're sensitive. They're sensitive. You, you can be like, yeah, man, won't you be a man? Won't you man up? Uh, I think some men hate that when a woman tells them, won't you man up? What if a man came and tell you, won't you woman it up? What's that supposed to mean? What is woman up supposed to mean? I mean, I'm guilty of saying it or thinking it in my head, you know. Won't you man up to whatever the situation is or whoever I'm thinking it with. But... It's hard to trust somebody's words if they're not communicating how they feel or what they want from you. And that's why you have to make sure when you're dating somebody that you have dating expectations and dating standards. If you don't know how to have standards or you don't know what you want, you'll accept anything. And when it comes to you when that man that you're dating that you have accepted into your life is giving you not what you want and you're communicating with your body language... Your body language is standoffish and angry, but you coming out your mouth, nothing. Then, of course, he can't trust you because he don't know if you're going to pop off on him on the next thing or smother him in his sleep when he's sleeping. That's why they got the shelf snap. But anyways, I just wanted to come and share a thought or two with you guys about why men feel like they can't trust women. And the two things is communication and not expressing our feelings so that way they know where we're coming from so that they can trust our words. Words are action. Put action behind words. If I'm mad, then my body says it, but my mouth needs to communicate that well and I need to make sure that I'm communicating that. Not, I'm mad. I'm angry. I, I really did not like that you didn't click back over and t when you told me you was because I feel like you lied to me. So, we got to just continue to have healthy relationships. We're going to make sure we pray right quick. And I'm going to end this because I don't want to keep rambling on. But I thank you for watching. I thank you for joining in. And leave your comments down below. Leave your thoughts on why you feel men can't trust women. Let's discuss this. Let's make this a discussion. And if you have ideas of other relationship talks, make sure that you drop me an email at indigomatellus.com. Sorry, yeah, indigomatellus at gmail.com. You can find me on any social media platform at indigomatellus. And also, remember, your girl is now an author. Woo, woo, woo. My book drops in Kendo or on Kendo, October 27th. And it's Fake Love and Life, just like the Relationship Talk, the Facebook group, Relationship Talk faith, love, and life, and I'm just giving you guys, you know, some little things, some little jewels, some things that I picked up along the way in my short life here, because I'm knowing God's going to make it continue to be blessed and grow and continue to be, you know, as long as he wants me here, I'm here. Anyways, <laughs> I don't know why I got on that. But just thank you guys for the encouragement. Thank you guys for showing up. Make sure you like, comment, and share. Make sure you subscribe. And just encouragement. Encouragement, encouragement, encouragement. encouragement. So, Lord, we just thank you and we praise you for those individuals that you have allowed to watch this. We thank you, Lord, for letting them, for helping them in their communication, for help, helping them and their attitude, and helping them to wait on the men and women that you have created for them. We just thank you and we, put, we praise you because we know that when we place our trust in you, God, when we place our trust in you, it will not be misguided, we won't be misled, and we will continue to reap what you have for us. So we thank you, Lord, for allowing us to first place our trust in you because we know that you will allow Whoever it is you want to be in our lives, whoever you want us to entertain will be in our lives because we are able to trust you first. 
So we just thank you and we praise you because you're so awesome. In your name, amen. Remember, I'm Indigo Metellus, and remember to value the rain.